So in this lecture, we talk about truncated zeros. So in some cases, zeros are missing from the count data we want to model. So we have a count data, but the count data goes like this, one, two, three, and so on. There is no zero in it. But in a Poisson regression, there is zero in it. So we want to model such a data in which there are zeros, but which are missing. So for example, we want to model say traffic violation tickets so these are traffic violation tickets which are issued to teenagers for driving violations so the predictors are SAT scores so these SAT scores we have modified so you could take GP in place of it training received whether the teenager has received any professional training and sex of the teenager so in such a model only data about people who have been issued tickets is available. So if the person was not issued a ticket, you do not have data about their SAT scores, whether they received professional training and uh, the sex of the person. So once they are issued ticket, so say the police officer collects uh, the information on SAT scores, training and the sex of the person. So the model is like this. So you have this model like this. So the output of the model is number of tickets. So input of the model is three things. One is your SAT scores. Then, uh, then there is a categorical variable which is train. So training whether the person has received uh, proper training or official training from a driving school instructor. And third is the sex of the person. So you can consider these SAT scores or GPA. So this is modified SAT scores. I have just put in some values here. Uh, these uh, are continuous. So this is a continuous variable. So consider this as a continuous variable. Whereas this training and sex are categorical variables. So this training can only take two values, zero or one. Zero means no official training. One means official training. So here one means official training. So this person where you indicate one means that he has attended a proper driving school. Zero means that he has just learnt it from the family and friends. And six, zero and one means zero is male and say one is female. So we have the past data. So row one, this person was issued one ticket. His SAT score was 88. His training was zero. That means he got training from friends and family. Sex is zero. That means the person is male. Second person, he was issued two tickets. His SAT score was 200. His training was one. And his sex was one. Training one means he received official training. And sex one means the person is a female. Then third row, this person got issued 13 tickets. His SAT score was 55. He received official training 1. Sex is 1. That is, this person is female. And uh, this tickets is the response variable. This is the response. That is the output of the model. So tickets is response. And these three are predictors. SAT score, training, and sex of the person. These are predictors so predictors go into the model so these are predictors so predictor predictors go into the model and response is what comes out of the model so let us model this in r so you require this package vgam so if you do not have it install it so this is the package which contains the poisson regression which we want to put on this truncated zero model. So first you read your data. So this is the address. This is the name of the file. Ticket sc1.txt, header is true. So let us see the first two rows. So row one shows you six tickets have been issued to the person. His SAT score is 89. Training is zero. That is this person did not receive official training. Sex is zero. That is this person is male. Row two. This person got four tickets. His SAT score was 67. 
training is zero did not receive official training sex is zero the person is male so first thing you need to do is that you need to make factor out of training and sex because these two are categorical variables they only take values 0 and 1 as I mentioned before so you take this data set d1 so within d1 you take training make a factor out of it you take sex make a factor out of it then you have the model so the model is VGLM and notice the family is positive Poisson so positive Poisson means that it is missing the zero value so this is the special family we are going to fit so we are not fitting in Poisson distribution but a pos Poisson or positive Poisson so data is D2 this is the data D2 here which is modified with the factors so data is D2 and now this is exactly like it is in a regression model so your response is tickets and so you write tickets and then you have SAT score training and sex of the person so this is exactly what you have so this is your response and these three are predictors so then you call the summary of the model and uh, obviously this is precisely what we have fed in right here so we are given the coefficients so the coefficients are this but we are not given the confidence intervals or the p-values to find out which of the variables are significant but we are given z values which are as good as p-values so the thumb rule is if the absolute value of the z value so absolute value of this is greater than 2 then that variable is significant so what this means is that if you have a negative value you drop the negative sign if you have a positive value you keep it as such and you just have to see whether it is greater than 2 so say this is minus 3.5 drop the negative sign this is 3.5 which is greater than 2 so this is significant this is minus 5.4 this is again greater than 2 if you drop the negative sign so drop the negative sign becomes 5.4 it is greater than 2 so this is significant and this is minus 10.4 again if you take the absolute value of this this becomes 10.4 which is greater than 2 so this is significant so all three of our predictors are significant and notice that they have a negative sign in front of them that means if the SAT score increases the log of uh, ticket count is going to decrease similarly if training increases the log of ticket count is expected to decrease so training increases means training goes from 0 to 1 so notice that this is training 1 so if you go from 0 to 1 in training then the ticket count will decrease similarly sex 1 so if sex goes from 0 to 1 so this is sex 1 so sex 1 means it is compared to sex 0 you go from 0 to 1 the log of ticket count decreases so this is always log of ticket count but uh, we are not uh, generally thinking in terms of log of count we want to think in terms of the exact ticket count so for that you take the exponential of the coefficients of your model so now the uh, sat is 0 0.99 training is 0.87 and sex is 0.82 notice all of them are less than one so that means this means one unit increase in so one unit increase in SAT score will uh, have an impact of 0.99 times on the ticket on ticket count so obviously ticket count gets multiplied by something less than 1 so ticket count is decreasing similarly if the training goes from 0 to 1 then the impact on ticket count is by the factor of 0.87 so the ticket count will decrease because you are multiplying the ticket count with something less than 1 similarly on the sex if the sex goes from 0 to 1 then you are multiplying ticket count by a factor of 0.82 so this is less than 1 so this decreases 
so again you know negative here and less than one here are related obviously you need to notice that exponential of 0 is 1 and exponential of something uh, greater than 0 which is having a positive impact will be greater than 1 so if this is positive you will have a number greater than 1 here now we if you have something negative which is the case here then exponential of something negative is less than 1 so that is what it is here so exponential of something negative so you have three negative numbers so you have something less than one so the best way to go about it is to use the predict command so let us now use the predict command to see actually the prediction in number of tickets issued so for prediction first you set up your data frame and uh, you have to notice that you have to give uh, training as a factor so training is a factor and sex is a factor so make sure you put a factor here otherwise your uh, you cannot feed your data frame properly into your predict command so sex is a factor I'm saying 0 is to 1 you can probably replace this with C 0 comma 1 just like here so this 0 comma 1 comes right here and this 0 0 comes right here sat 100 100 comes right here so you put this s1 into your model your model was named m1 type is response so C if the SAT score is 100, training is 0, sex is 0, this person, so you put in this into your model, the output of the model would be this person is going to be issued 10.74 tickets. Second output into the, uh, input into the model is this, the second row you put into the model, put SAT score of 100, training is 0, sex is 1, output would be 8.84 tickets. So you can see that when the sex goes from 0 to 1, the number of tickets goes down. And that is what we saw in the previous slide. So you can now change your data frame to anything you feel like and you can keep uh, predicting. So this corresponds to the first row of input and this corresponds to the second row of input.